shoulder of misery. One thing that, if you are lucky, you will not have faced in your travels is your own death. Prepare for that to change. In any city, in any country, go to any funeral home or morgue that you can get yourself into. Find the head of the establishment and ask him if you can see the holder of misery. A look of sheer pain should cross the man's face and he will lead you into the building. If, at any time, the man begins to talk to you about the merchandise they sell, immediately get into the nearest coffin without a word. If you are lucky, when you open the coffin, you will not have been transported into the void. If you did indeed enter the correct coffin, you should be in a large bedroom. This bedroom will look like the one at the place you call home, so feel free to get accustomed to the living space. Because, for now, you may only get happiness from it. After what may seem like a few days, you will hear a loud, whining noise emanating perpetually from behind you. When you turn around to see what causes the noise, you will find a large array of items. There is only one known list of items that has been compiled, however, the list has been lost to most. However, there are rumors that the things you have can be only used for one thing. Pick up the first item, any one of your choice, for this holder has much leniency as to how he gets his entertainment. With this item, you must swiftly attack the only living thing in the room. Yourself, this holder demands his entertainment, and you are his prime source. If you are wise, you will make it worth his while. Your death will be the only thing to sate his requirements. Wake up. You will find yourself in the room again. The only difference being one item in the list has disappeared. By this time, you may know what you have to do. You must sequentially destroy yourself with each of the items to keep the holder happy. Pray you can survive through your own deaths. You and your sanity. Wake up for the final time. You will appear in the room which, at this point, will be soaked in your own blood. In the center of the room will sit a little man, slightly balding, with a bad comb-over. If he has a look of disappointment on his face, then you will be forced to relive all of the painful deaths for all eternity as punishment for the lack of good entertainment. If, however, he was entertained enough, he will have a look of contentment, or even better, pleasure, over his face. He will congratulate you on a job well done, and allow you to ask one question. Ask the man, Why must we perform for them? He will smile as he begins to tell you why. It will be a maddening tale, one that tells you what every person has ever contributed to the show, every suicide, every murder, and every madman performing. At this point, if you are still of sound mind, you will notice that he will be snickering to himself. Suddenly, the items will appear before you once again. He will tell you, Continue the cycle, as I would like to watch. Take the first item you used, turn to the man, and say, I will continue the cycle, but I shall not be part of it. And quickly kill the man. 
he will laugh hysterically at this point, then slump over, dead. The next time you wake up, you will be outside the funeral home or morgue you entered, the item you used first in your hands. That item is Object 383 of 538. All the world's a stage now. Will you play your part, or someone else's?